Hello everybody, it is better than evil. Welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution 2. Welcome back to Raptor Park. We are here with our lovely little Scorpius Rex who just woke up. You know, you know, I do love him. I, I do love him a lot. I just want to say that. I do, I do really enjoy uh, having this guy right here. So, but on a side note, we are also going to be doing uh, a new dinosaur today. We're going to be doing Velociraptor. I know that probably sounds a little bit weird since that should really be like the last dinosaur we do. But the wheel has spoken and they want Velociraptor. So that's what we're going to do now. Um, where am I going to put it, you ask? I actually don't know. Probably right here, actually. Now, I have thought extensively about how I want to handle the Velociraptor, and I still don't know. So, um, basically, I'm just going to kind of play it by ear here and see, you know, what, what pops in my head. I'm thinking, okay, so it's supposed to be like a, like a slice of, like whatever like environment like this is kind of like a slice of like like a, like a forest right and this is a, a part of a river and and this one's part of like a big big game trail where the scorpius rex hunts like and the spider raptors is a river and and you have the swamp and stuff like that it's part of a bigger hole right that's the that's the idea of other than like this one which is like the oasis in the middle of the desert um but even that is like part of a bigger hole because it's part of like a bigger desert thing. Um, so, so my idea then is to do something like that with the Lost Raptors. But my problem is I don't know what I want to do with the Raptors because we have movie Raptors, we have the the in-game Raptors. We there are a lot of options, and I don't know how I'm going to solve this problem. want that because it looks a little bit like the one from Jurassic Park that they were sitting in. A little bit like the one from Jurassic Park. It's obviously a lot bigger, um, but, but it does in fact look like that. Alright, so here's my thought process now because that's not gonna work. Blush. Actually, you know, it would work um, on a much smaller scale. Steam, shut up. Something that, like, from here you might not really see because, like, the forest might be covering up at some point. At one point. No, no, I get it. It doesn't make a lot of sense because you can't actually see the water from where you are sitting here. Maybe it should be um, a mix of the two. Wait, hold on. I have an idea. Because this is very um, high hide-esque. And that would allow you to see the whole exhibit.
Yeah. I mean, this one was never, let's be honest, it was never a, a good viewing thing from the Jurassic Park Tower, but it makes more sense for it to be the Jurassic Park Tower with what I'm doing. Let's just do some... Sell that point, and then we'll put the sand here all along this edge because this is all the beach. There aren't any snakes on the beach. Ooh, should I put copies in here with them? Now that I just made that quote, actually, you know what? I might because <laughs> that'd be really cool to have them running around too. Occasionally see a comp signal. I'm going to do that, actually. And we're going to do the, the green like they are. Yep. Yeah, there we go. Um, we're going to go ahead and put... In that case, we're going to put a little meat feeder right here. <laughs> and then we'll put one in here. We'll put one over here. There we go. Because we're going to have quite a lot of rafters in here. My idea with this is kind of a mix between the Lost World Dress Park and Dress Park 3 with the copies. Which, actually, the copies were around in Dress Park 3, so really I could just do the the JP3 rafters, which is fine by me, because I like them better anyway. We're not doing the, the Frontier of the Lost Rafters. I refuse. They are awful. <laughs> and it's not even design-wise. Like, I don't hate the design. Of the Jurassic Park 3 Raptors. I don't, or the, or the, not the Jurassic Park 3, I love the Jurassic Park 3 Raptors. Um, I don't hate the Frontier design for the Velociraptors. I hate the Jurassic World design for the Velociraptors. The only reason those Raptors are cool is because of the, the custom, you know, skins for Blue, Charlie, Delta, and Echo. If that wasn't a thing, if Blue was not a character in Jurassic World, the Raptor wouldn't even be a consideration for me. It really wouldn't. Uh, they look awful. Um, that's just how it is. But, that being said, we are going to use, I think 2001A is the male, so we're going to make four of those, and two of the females, because in Jurassic Park 3, after having watched it a million times, I know this, um, there are two females, there's an alpha female and another female, and then there is four male velociraptors when they, when they finally all come up uh, to attack them at the end, that's the, the count that there is. Of course, they're missing a couple, which is why that call for help actually works, because they're not all there. <laughs> um, or at least why they considered it. It didn't really work, but why they considered it. Um, let's do ten of those. I said four of these, right? Yeah. Four of these. And two of these. God damn. I don't, want to, I don't want a bunch of nocturnal motherfuckers. So this is pretty good here. Um, I would say, actually... This could be like the clearing. I'm going to add a decoration to it for a second. Why you gotta do that to me? God damn it.
Mm okay. There we go. Mm. There we go. That's good. That works. It works. It works. It works. Um, I'm not gonna spend a whole bunch of time screwing around with it, basically. When there's no need, here are our tiny little zombies, which you're never gonna see in this forest. Like, ever. But, uh, they're there. Yeah, as soon as they go in there, we just lose them. So there's that. I did do it right. <laughs> God, I've been in my rap so long with just the symbol of my church. I actually have like a, uh, uh, a physical, like a drawn channel logo. Oh my God, this was the symbol of the channel for so long and I love it. I love them so much. They're so good. They'll have plenty of open space, they're just being stupid. Yeah, they'll be fine. Um, so there's that one, and then... Love it. Love those two. There's, it's such a, it's a very... It's a bland pattern, yet it is vibrant at the same time, you feel me? Because it's, it's, you know, the white and black, so it's not remotely, like, eye-popping to look at, yet it is at the same time. And that yellow eyeball, the eyeball is what makes it. The eyeball is what makes this so good. And the, the red pocket around the eye, and that yellow, bright, lightning yellow eyeball. Oh my god. Oh! <laughs> God, I love the social animation for the Raptors too. I absolutely love the Raptors in this game. I just don't like the design of the Dreads World ones. It's just a problem right now. Don't get eaten. God, they are so cute. I wonder if I could put, um... I could put a little thing right here, it wouldn't kill that much of the forest around it. And I could also put more forest around it. Uh, cause that's absolutely something that I can do. Too close to comp, where's the copy at? I genuinely can't. Oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, when he lays down, you just don't see him. It's just... Yeah, we're gonna add a little bit more dirt in here just so... You have a chance to see the compies. Oh, God. The dirt... Why does the dirt have foliage in it? wide open area in case the copies are over there to to see them if they go there. And you'll see them on the beach, but of course the beach is not really a necessary thing anymore because or not necessary or unnecessary I should say. It's just the beach is not something you should mention when talking about seeing them because you're not gonna. Now I know it doesn't make a lot of sense to cover this in trees be ocean, but whatever man, I'm gonna do what I want. 
again, this park is not meant to be pretty, it's just meant to be a bunch of rappers in the park, because that's the primary focus of this place. If you came from pretty park, you came from the wrong place. I, 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 I'm trying, you know, I'm, I'm slowly getting there, but I'm not, I'm not there yet. expect me to build some weird shit beforehand. I do like um, having the copies roaming around with the... Oh! They're attacking a goat. I forgot they could do that. I forgot copies could hunt goats. Got him. <laughs> That's so cool. I forgot they hunted goats. They're panicking. Probably because of the Velociraptors. I panic too. That's not my mic. Oh god, the lag. Of course you can stop me as soon as I come up to look at you. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for this episode of Jurassic World Evolution 2. I hope you have enjoyed the Velociraptor Paddock. I, I think I kind of captured the Lost World stuff, or the, the Jurassic Park 3 stuff, pretty well here. It's not totally perfect, and it wasn't going to be, if I'm honest with you, because uh, I wanted to build, like, a smaller exhibit, so it wasn't going to be, like, the whole... I wasn't going to build the whole engine compound and the beach and the whole, like, everything. But I think the beach... The beach scene is what sticks out in my mind, so hopefully it is cool enough to all. But thank you everybody so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode of Jurassic Evolution 2. Bye-bye!